Hi guys, it's Andy here from DreamWorks.co.uk, and today I'm just going to be showing you how you can speed up your computer by disabling some of the programs that launch on startup. So I'm going to press Windows KR, and that'll bring up my run utility here, and I'm just going to type in msconfig, and I'm going to hit OK, and it will launch this panel here, the system configuration panel. We're just going to go to startup. And we're just going to look at some of the programs that launch at startup. This panel will list all of the uh, programs and applications that automatically uh, launch when you log in to your user. And as you can see, I've already disabled uh, a few of mine here. And just what you're going to do is you're just going to go through uh, these programs and see which ones that you don't need. General rule of thumb is if you don't know what it does, then don't disable it. If you don't know what exactly what it is or exactly what it does, then don't disable it because it could cause some serious problems later on. Also, I would recommend that you don't disable your antivirus and that you just let that start and boot up. However, you can disable things such as iTunes, MSN, Windows Live Messenger. I've, di um, I've disabled Rockstar Games uh, Social Club here. I have disabled my Hamanchi client, which is basically just a VPN. I have disabled my Macromaker and I have disabled uh, Mozilla Sunbird. So, general film, do not disable it if you don't know exactly what it does and keep your uh, antivirus enabled on startup. And by reducing, by uh, disabling and untaking some of these boxes, we can actually increase the speed of your computer on startup. Cause if at the moment your computer is very slow when you first boot up, it could be down to the fact that you have a lot of uh, applications launching that you really don't need. But like I said, be very careful as to which programs you disable. If you don't know what they do, then don't touch them. If you do know what they do, such as iTunes or MSN, then feel free to disable them. And it will most likely in, uh, improve your performance on startup. I hope this has helped. Have a nice day.